أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم First of all viewers allow me to send my best greeting to everybody after I thank Allah the Almighty who created all of us and also uh, I would like to thank uh, the officials here in this very very important online TV called uh, THD online TV here in the Gambia for inviting me today in their programs and then this program is called Islam and life uh, today's discussion is going to center on a very important issue it is the fasting in the mode of Ramadan I'm saying this because fasting is always guided by belief and sincerity uh, we all know when the Ramadan start a Muslim is always ready to fast the whole month sincerely whether he is seen by people or not but because of the sincerity he has he, he or she has between he and Allah the Almighty will make him fast how many people do fast when they have facilities they have water they have cold water they have food uh, beside them but with all that they do not actually attempt to use any of those things. Why? Because they are sincere and they fear Allah the Almighty and they have belief in Allah. A good Muslim should believe in Allah. You see, I do always remind myself and remind everybody that belief, that faith is important. If you have belief in the one who created you, you will be ready to worship him according to his teachings because Allah is telling us in the Holy Quran I Allah have not created I did not create man I did not create jinn for any purpose except to worship me and we will worship Allah accordingly without having faith without having belief an unshakable belief in your heart that this is the only one I should serve Allah the Almighty that is Tawheed that is the importance of Tawheed in the Muslim Tawheed will guide the individual to the right path because Tawheed is telling us that even if you cannot see Allah He sees you that's why any act of what if you embark upon you will start it with that you will have that at the back of your mind I'm going to do it and Allah who created me can see me even if he uh, even if I do not see him but he can see me that is the bottom line of sincerity believe in Allah and remember that he is the one who created you and remember that he is the one who actually asks you to worship him if the, the individual is sincere my brothers and sisters if we are sincere we will not serve anybody in worship except Allah because he is the one who created us the one who created you who brought you into this world why do you play with that why do you joke with him why are we ready to pass by Allah and worship sticks and stones? Are we not invested? Allah the Almighty invested in us five common sense. We can think, we know. We should remember, my brothers and my sisters, that Allah could have created us as a dog, for example. Uh, yes, or as a cat, or as something else. But no, he created the individual as a human being. Masha Allah give you your five common sense. Masha Allah and he does not stop at that but instead he revealed, he sent a prophet to you, a messenger such as the messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam telling you that this is bad and the, uh, telling you that 
this is good and this is bad. He does not uh, stop all that, but he also reveal a book to us, so that we will learn, so that we will understand, so that we will be able to serve him accordingly, because that is the purpose of our creation. At the beginning, I was say, I quoted this verse in the Holy Quran. وَمَا خَلَاتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah is telling us that He create, He did not create us, human beings, or the genes, for any purpose except to worship. We cannot worship if we do not know Him. That is what I wanted to discuss. We should know who is He. We should be ready, my brothers and sisters, to go out wholeheartedly to be informed, to be given correct information about our Lord, to be given correct information, correct data, so that we will be able to serve Him accordingly. Because this is the this is the reason and this is the purpose of our creation. We are here in this world for what? To worship Him. That is the most and main important issue that we are created. We cannot do that if we do not know. We should know. We should try to understand. We should not fumble. Wherever I go, I do discourse that Islam is not religion of fumbling. Fumbling. To te uh, testing and trial. No. Islam is a comprehensive system of life. Everything in Islam is discussed and then established by the Holy Quran, by the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then what should we do? We should understand our religion. We should not be saying in the Gambia, in the Gambia, so many of us stop at I, I heard they say about our religion. I had they say they say I had full stop your religion and why don't you remember that you are brought into this world to live why to worship can you worship without knowing the principles no then why do you want to stop at I had they say my religion no I am ready to go out wholeheartedly to meet those people who are knowledgeable so that they will help me to understand my religion so that I can serve my Allah so that I can serve Allah the Almighty who created me. My brothers and sisters, I will repeat it here today. In the day of judgment, whoever is brought before Allah for judgment if he or she thinks that he can uh, take an excuse saying that hey Allah wallahi I didn't know Allah please forgive me because I did not know that if I do this these are going to be the consequences oh Allah please forgive me because I didn't know I was not informed no that is not an excuse I will, I will give one example if somebody happened to commit a crime in this country, in the Gambia here, and then the, po uh, uh, the police come and arrest him, take him to court, and the judge comes and then pass the judgment. You are the one who did this, yes. You are found guilty, yeah, okay. You are going to prison for three years, for example. My brothers and sisters tell me, if that particular individual says, eh, no, Mr. Judge, no, don't do that, because I didn't know. I did not know that if I do this, these are going to be the consequences. Please, Mr. Judge, I am asking you, you the viewers, if that particular man or woman say, tells that to the judge, will that save him or her from the judgment? No. That will not save him, 
that will not save him or her. Because the judge can tell him that I was a Gambian. Yes, I'm a Gambian. Uh -huh. Who stops you from understanding the Constitution? You are a Gambian and there is a Constitution of the Gambia. You should have endeavored to understand the Constitution so that you will know what to do. Allah also, if He likes, He can tell you that. Why didn't you try to understand your religion? You were in the Gambia. There were Islamic scholars always discussing, teaching people. Allah says, the prophet say, have you ever approached any one of them telling him that help me to understand my religion? No. You are just passing by them like that. You do not value them. You do not value them. They are there, you just pass by them. You start, yes, and then you pass by. You go and take care of your business. If in Fatiha, the opening chapter of the Holy Quran, some of us cannot recite it correctly. It's very sad. It's very sad. And we do, and we do say that we, we pray. Uh, if you go to a very important book, my brothers and sisters, there is a very important hadith book, Al Muwatta Al Maliki. This book is the collection of Imam Malik Ibn Anas, Imam Dar al Hijra. Though it is ranked number nine among all the authentic books of Adir, but it also is very good. It's a very important book. You will find the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, talking to us, telling us that whoever performs prayer while the person cannot recite Fatiha correctly, it is called in the Islamic term Allah Nufiqiraat in Fatiha. He is not pronouncing the words and the letters accordingly. The Messenger of Allah is telling us that Fasalatu ho hidaj, Fasalatu ho hidaj, Fasalatu ho hidaj ghayru tamma. His prayers are incomplete. His prayers are not valid because they are incomplete. Why? Because the person cannot recite Fatiha correctly. Why should we, why? Why do we want to learn ourselves into such problem, my brothers and sisters? That's why it is advisable. I am giving my humble advice to everybody to go out wholeheartedly to ask people who know so that we understand our religion, so that we practice our religion accordingly. Today, we are healthy. Today, maybe we are wealthy, we have no problem. But tomorrow, Wallahi, my brother and my sister, tomorrow you will need your religion. Tomorrow, you will say that if you are not practicing correctly, you are going to say that if I had known, I would have done this and this and this while it has already passed. And you cannot reverse it anymore. Go out wholeheartedly to understand your religion. Look at us. You will see some of us, we can, we, mashallah, when our parents endeavored and taught us, sent us to school until we reached grade 9. Maybe they left us, or maybe they stopped our sponsoring. But did we stop we ourselves? No. We started looking for people to sponsor us. Until we, we reached grade 10, grade, uh, uh, grade 12, and we graduated, and then we endeavored to go to Gambia College or to, to universities. Uh, uh, and then we are now uh, doctorate holders type. But what about our religion? The the life of Christ that we are taught during during the life of my father is the only one I know. I did not make any personal efforts to go beyond. Why? Why? And how can you be behaving like that? And in the day of judgment, you have no hope but to tell Allah that well, I, I didn't know. That's not an excuse. My brothers and my sisters, my advice here is that let us go out wholeheartedly to understand our religion. I'm not saying that we stop our other activities. No! The worship of Allah 
can go easily side by side with, with all other activities. I give example of the performance of prayer. It doesn't detain anybody from his worldly, from, from his or her time activities, lifetime activities. No, 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 no. Prayer, it doesn't take maybe five minutes, maybe ten minutes from your precious time, and then you go back to your business. Then, why are we playing with ourselves? Why do we want to play with ourselves? Why do we want to do something that tomorrow we regret? My brother and my sister, we should remember a very important fact that each and every one of you is given one single life by Allah. It is the life that you enjoy right now. And this life will be taken by Allah when you do not know. We do not know. We do not know. We don't know. We don't know. They want to continue playing fools until we meet Allah and then we start regretting. Is that wise? It's not wise. Wallahi does not wise. That's why my brothers and sisters, Allah the Almighty Himself is telling us in the Holy Quran that first Allah Ahmad Dhikri in Kuntum La Ta'lamun. If you do not know, go and ask those who know so that you understand your religion. Allah he is telling us He Himself in the Holy Quran. And Allah the Almighty gives a very important and a valuable medal to somebody who knows, to somebody who knows his or her religion. And this medal is Hasiyatullah, the fear of Allah. It's a very good, very good and, uh, and very important medal. For who? For the one who knows. Then, looking for knowledge, to search for knowledge, my brothers and my sisters, is important, particularly the knowledge of Islam. So that you will know how to go up, how to go about your worldly activities. So that you also will know what to do for your Lord. So that you can remember my brothers and my sisters we should remember that if we joke we are the one who joke but Allah is not joking Allah is telling us in the Holy Quran Ma khalahna samawati wal ardi wa ma bainuhuma batilan I Allah did not create the seven heaven and the earth and what is in between to joke no 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 I did not create them for in vain. I create them for a purpose. And this purpose is to serve me. But we are now playing with ourselves. Fasting of the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. The Messenger of Allah taught us in one of the hadiths that if you are lucky to fast the first 10 days of the Ramadan, Allah the Almighty will look at you with the eyes of mercy. Allah the Almighty will have mercy on you. Taib. You endeavor to, to fast the second 10 days of the month of Ramadan, Allah the Almighty forgive your sins. You fast the third 10 days of Ramadan, Allah the Almighty free you from the hellfire. He free you from entering the hellfire. And that's what we are looking for. We are looking for freedom from the hellfire and then we go to Al Jannah. Then we should not join with the moon of Ramadan. Let us ask what are the principles of fasting? How can we start fasting? The Messenger of Allah was telling us in a hadith, So mooni ru'yatihi wa afturoni ru'yatihi. Whenever the crescent the, or the moon is sighted, the moon of Ramadan or the crescent of Ramadan is sighted, start fasting. Whenever equally at the end of the fasting moon, Whenever the crescent or the moon is sighted, break your fast. That's why at the beginning of the month of Ramadan, it was, I can even say, obligated on Muslims to go out wholeheartedly to search 
for the moon or for the uh, for the uh, for the crescent, so that if it is sighted, mashallah, we fast. We don't want a situation in which people will be agreeing. In the Gambia here, Alhamdulillah, this year, up till this moment, I have not had. Um, uh, uh, maybe it happened, but I have not had anybody saying that there is a settlement, there is a village in the Gambia, or a country that refuses to fast. I have not had. Alhamdulillah. But other months, in the past ones, it was very common. The moon will be sighted in the Gambia. In some cases, in Basa area. The one who lives in Sierra Kunda, you know, because it, 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 it was not sighted by myself, for example. It was not cited by people who, who uh, uh, with whom I live. I'm joking. We should not joke with worship. We should not joke with this. This, the, the, the fasting in the month of Ramadan is not an issue of argument. It is an issue of self, self, uh, 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 readiness to serve your Lord. You should be ready to serve. You, you should be ready to be devoted to Allah. If you are ready to be devoted to Allah, you will not argue. Anybody tells you that I have sighted the moon, you will have to believe in him. And then you will start. During the lifetime of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all of them came out to sight and to look for the, for the crescent. It was not sighted. They thought that Actually, maybe it is going to be sighted tomorrow. They went to relax. One of the companions came and said, Oh, you the messenger of Allah. I've sighted the crescent. I've sighted the moon. Okay. The boy, what did he tell? Do you believe that Allah is one who said, I believe. I have an unshakable belief that Allah the Almighty is one and he is the one who created me and he is the one I supposed to worship. Who am I? It is, it is the prophet who is asking. Who am I? He said, you are the prophet and the messenger of, of Allah the Almighty. You are sent by Allah to come and guide us so that we follow the right path. What did uh, the messenger say? Oh Bilal, get up and, and uh, Perform your earth and inform people. Let us pray marvelous because tomorrow is Ramadan. Only one person informed me. He accepted it. So what about us? We are always here to argue. My brothers and sisters, inshallah, this is the month of Ramadan. We are asking Allah the Almighty who created us to accept our worship. Let us worship. Let us fast, fast sincerely. Anything that is intangible in this moment intangible matters we keep away from them let us do that let us also keep away from all the offensive behaviors like cheating like deception like backbiting like quarreling like fighting we should be peaceful a Muslim during the day, during the month of Ramadan is expected to be peaceful. Whoever sees you will feel peace in you. That's what we, that's what we are looking for, particularly for a Muslim in the month of Ramadan. Though a Muslim should behave like that in all other times and moons. But I am saying this because Ramadan is very special. My brothers and sisters, this is your brother, Imam Sheikh Tijan Cham, Imam of Banyun Nigmet Kamox, inshallah, also double as vice principal of Kodi Senior Secondary School. Allow me to send my best greeting to everybody. Masha Allah, to ask Allah the Almighty to accept our prayers, to accept our worship, and that we value our moon. Let us value the fasting. Whenever, maybe inshallah, whenever I have time, I will come back here. This program is called Islam and Life. 
I am going to remind myself first and remind everybody that at the end of Ramadan what we expect is that all of us are now clean from our sins. It is not wise, it is not advisable, it is not wise also to be clean from all your sins and then at the end of Ramadan you, 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 you throw yourself into the gutters again. Let us not do that. Let us have the pure intention that we are fasting for, for the sake of Allah and inshallah we are going to remain very pure uh, inshallah on that note allow me to send my best greeting to the uh, to the manager mashallah of this important online uh, tv and all those all the members of staff i pray allah the almighty to make it one of the best ones best media houses in this country